Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is, and I'm so excited for this, the Sephora VIB sale. Oh, well, I thought I would give my recommendations for makeup and skincare that I love and think are holy grails and suggest for other people who are looking for recommendations for the sale. Now, uh, disclaimer, I don't think that you have to shop this sale. I think these are not products that you must have, you must go out and grab right now. I think these are items that I enjoy, that if you've saved up the money, if you're prepared to shop this sale and you want to buy something new, then definitely go do that. But don't let people on the internet, especially YouTubers, pressure you into buying things from Sephora. If you don't purchase from Sephora usually, then just skip it. Or if you're looking for something to splurge on, then definitely shop the sale. I know I have some wish list items that I will hopefully get a video up on soon, but I thought these were my recommendations for those of you out there who are who have saved for the sale or who are prepared for the sale and just want to treat yourself. So. These are my recommendations. I will be putting up a future video on products that I enjoy that I would not purchase at Sephora. Um, I really love to buy makeup, but I don't always purchase makeup from Sephora. I usually only purchase brands that are specifically at Sephora, and I only purchase usually during the sale. So I like to buy my makeup on sale, and if I can buy something at Ulta versus Sephora, then I like to buy those products at Ulta. The point system is better. You get more bang for your buck. There are a lot of point multiplier events that you can shop for when you want an item or need to stock up on something that you've run out of. So Sephora isn't always the place that I buy my products. I prefer to buy my skincare from Sephora and some eyeshadow palettes and some base products that I can only get at Sephora. So you won't see a lot of items. I don't think I have any items. No, none of these items you can get at Ulta because I have a whole separate video planned for all those products that you can buy at Ulta and you might as well buy it at Ulta because their point system is incredible. So I will stop ranting now. We will move on into the video and here are my recommendations. So um, I did forget to go over the details. So for the spring savings event, I've got it up here if you see me looking away. Um, Rouge, it has already started for Rouge, I know I'm late. Um, Rouge can shop from April 9th to April 19th and you will receive 20% off. VIB can shop from 413 to April 19th and that is 15% off. And then Insiders can shop from April 15th to April 19th and receive 10% off. And you will use the code OMG spring to receive your discount. So I do plan on shopping the sale. I think I don't have a lot of products that I'm actually looking for in this sale. I usually I have a cart already set midnight. I'm hitting purchase, but there, there's one palette that I've got my eye on and a couple staple products that I'm thinking of repurchasing. But for the most part, there aren't a lot of things that I'm looking for during the sale. But this video is for those of you who are looking for something to purchase during the sale. So, now we can jump into it. Please hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I am working on my schedule. I know it's all over the place right now, but we will get back into it, hopefully. You know, I'm working on it, but standardized testing is this month, so I'm busy at work, and then after work, I have no energy. So, I'm just doing the best I can right now. All right. Now, without further ado, let's get into the products. So I'm going to do this in order, you know, base products, um, blush, bronzer, highlight, eyeshadow palettes, and so on and so forth. And then we'll get into skincare because my favorite thing to purchase at Sephora is skincare always. So let's grab our products. For... So for primer, I love, love this, especially now that we're wearing masks everywhere. I love the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I really do think this helps my makeup stay in place, helps it 
stick, I guess, because it's a sticky consistency. So I feel like my foundation really sticks to my face and it stays on longer because of this primer. So especially with the masks, I think this is great. It doesn't feel uncomfortable on your skin. I have tried some grip primers that feel sticky and weird on your skin, but it doesn't feel awkward. Feels lovely on the skin, sinks in. You do have to wait a minute before you put on your foundation. So usually I put it on and then do my brows and then put on my foundation or eyeshadow then foundation. But this is a great option, especially to extend the wear of your foundation. Then for my foundation choice, I do actually have two. So the first one is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Micellar Foundation. So great. I have this on today. It just looks like skin. It's medium, buildable coverage. Makes my face look very nice and smooth. Maybe not today. I'm having some forehead breakouts right now, but that's okay. We all have some moments. But this really does just look like skin, really makes my skin tone even, lovely, feels comfortable on the skin, highly recommend. My other foundation, which is not my favorite foundation under a mask, I must say, but it is still one of my favorite foundations and I will probably repurchase this down the road. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Lumi Radiance Perfecting Foundation, and I have it in the shade 1C0 Camo. So this shade was too light. I had to mix it in with a darker shade. But I love this foundation. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It looks so radiant. makes me look so healthy, and it doesn't sink into my smile lines, which is the number one thing I always look for in a foundation. So this is incredible. Highly recommend. Totally worth it beautiful glow very natural and then for concealer I have the Josie Marin vibrancy argan oil full coverage concealer and it is the concealer I'm wearing today great concealer beautiful I don't know if I would say it's full coverage I would say medium to buildable full but I do use a beauty blender to blend out all my base products so it could just be the way I apply it but this is great beautiful very hydrating looking, makes the my dry under eyes feel very comfortable and nourished. So I love this as a concealer and I love the added argan oil in it because it makes my eyes just feel hydrated after I take off my makeup too. And then for powder, mine's actually on empty if you watch my project pan, but I love this powder. We'll repurchase it. Probably in the November sale. Right now I'm trying not to purchase a bunch of things because I am working on going through some more of my products that are in my collection, get through some of my backups. But this is lovely. It's lightweight for pressed powder. It goes on really nicely. It keeps my makeup in place. It doesn't feel drying. And it's easy to apply when you're on the run. This is my holy grail pressed powder. Oh, love this. Highly recommend. And I have mine in the shade light too. Um, I used this a lot in the summer last year, so this is usually my summer shade, but I can make it work in the winter as well. For blush, I have a cream option and a powder option. And maybe these are a little older and people aren't gonna get as excited because these were a huge thing last spring during the VIB sale and that's when I purchased them. But I have been loving these. These are my go-to blushes in the summer. Love these. So these are the Fenty Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blushes. I have one in the shade Bikini Martini and Strawberry Drip. I love a bright blush, especially in the summer. Just oh, give me all the bright summer colors, you know. So mine are kind of gross, but I love them. They're so good. They're so nice. I especially love Bikini Martini. That's my go-to in the summer. They apply really well. They blend out really well. They last. I love them. Definitely a go-to cream blush. And then for my powder blush, this I purchased in the November VIB sale because you got to get your products when they're on sale, you know? This is the Melt Digital Duo Blush Duo or duo blush and I have it in buzz blush and or buzz kill I see it's in buzz kill so 
as you can see the embossing is already or the print is already rubbing off the little bee is almost gone because I have been using this a lot it's so pretty very lovely blush I wear this a lot definitely a great purchase so if you've watched any of my videos on my channel this bronzer will not be a surprise to anyone but I have to share it because Oh, I hate it that I love this blush so or this bronzer so much. But it is so beautiful. And this is the Gucci Eclat Soleil bronzer in 01. And this is mine. I know. It's not it you can still see the little print in the pan, but I have been using this a lot. You just need the lightest amount. And it looks lovely. Oh gosh. It applies so nice and smooth. Um I don't feel like you can go overboard with this very much. It's just really easy to blend out. Even when I've forgotten to set my foundation, it'll send, still blend out really nicely on creams. This is a great bronzer. I hate the price tag, so definitely get it on sale. But since I got it on sale, I would say that it, it was worth the price tag. This is one of my favorite bronzers. Now, highlight. I use this product as both a highlight and a primer. I used it as a primer today. I used it over my foundation before I put on the actual highlight I'm wearing. But this is great for multi-purpose things. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Mine's wearing off, obviously. And I have it in the shade Too Light, which sometimes is too light. And it's just a nice illuminating liquid that just adds this natural looking glow to your skin. I don't know how to explain it because you blend it in and you think it's done nothing. And then you see it through the foundation, you see it on your skin. I've worn it just on its own and it just gives me this healthy looking glow. It's beautiful. Absolutely love it. It applies really well as a highlight, as a base highlight, if you want to put a powder overneath or uh, over top of it. And it works really nicely under foundation. It just bumps up the luminosity. If you've got a matte foundation, put this underneath it, mix it together. This is a very nice multi-purpose product. And now for eyeshadow palettes, and then we will jump into skincare. So I'm only gonna recommend one of, one of this brand's eyeshadow palettes, but I will say that I love a Natasha Denona palette. I've got all of her, well, most of her minis. I didn't get glam because I'm not a cool tone eyeshadow person. I've got Love, Sunrise, and Bronze. These $65 palettes, I definitely recommend. If you're going to get one of these smaller palettes, I highly recommend Sunrise. Probably because we're in summer, it's usually my go-to summer palette for the last two years. And you just get a mix of neutrals and bright colors. It's so much fun. You can make so many different looks. This is great. For those bigger palettes, I only have two. I have the Natasha Denona Gold palette, which my husband bought me for one of my birthdays, so I will never get rid of this. I will love it forever. It will always have a special place in my heart. But I know that everybody doesn't want a neutral boring palette all full of golds. So my ultimate recommendation for this sale and I have it on my eyes today, is the Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. I know the eyeshadow looks kind of crazy. I wanted to get creative with it. I wanted to use as many colors as possible. So I decided to do that. But I mean, the variety of looks you can make with this palette. It folds all the way back, which is very nice. You have so many shades. You've got so many options in this palette. You can make a yellow tone, a nice gold tone look greens, blues, orange, red, there's just endless possibilities. So this I actually purchased on sale in December off Natasha Denona's website. I did see that it was still on um, Sephora's website and I thought this is the palette that if anybody wants to get into Natasha Denona, if they're ready to pay that big old price tag, this is the one I would recommend. You have so many options in here, you can make so many different looks and the quality is beautiful. Highly recommend. And then for my last eyeshadow palette, because again, remember, I'm only suggesting things you can only get at Sephora. 
and I'm suggesting higher price tag items because I haven't seen too many palettes that excited me at Sephora. Right now I'm going through a duochrome, multi-chrome phase, single eyeshadows. But Natasha Denona is my always go-to. Actually, the, um, I do have a Natasha Denona palette on my wish list for the sale. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to spend that much, but we'll see. So my last palette is the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette. I did keep the cardboard. It's a work of art. I had to. And I liked the first one. This was the first and only Pat McGrath palette I purchased because the color story didn't call to me. So I decided, wait until one of these palettes calls to me. I think that I'll use all these shades in the palette, and that's when I'll buy one. And then Divine Rose 1 came out. Now, granted, Divine Rose 2 is calling to me, but I cannot justify it because some of these shades are very similar. And I think somebody said that one of these shades is in Divine Rose 2, but I love the multi-chromes. I love the neutral mauve colors. It was just an easy palette to use. It was something I could use every day. I have used it multiple occasions, used it for work, nights out. I mean, not lately, but in the past I have. And this was just a beautiful palette. I could use it for so many different things and it wasn't just a bright palette or it wasn't just a neutral palette. There's enough in here that I could justify the price tag and spending this much money on this palette. And of course I bought it on sale. So, and now for skincare. And as I keep saying on my channel, I love skincare. I haven't done enough videos on skincare, so I thought this was the perfect way to introduce my love for skincare because there's so many options out there. There are so many different formulas. I just love skincare. But I will preface this with saying I am dry. My skin, my skin type is dry to normal. I live in a drier climate, so it usually causes my skin to be even drier. And I sometimes really am horrible at drinking water, so it's a lot of factors that make my skin dry. So I'm working on that. But for the most part, I fall into that normal dry phase. So these are a lot of hydrating products that I enjoy. And there are some products that I no longer have because I have used them up and I'm working on testing out other skincare products before purchasing new ones. For cleanser, this is my ultimate recommendation. If you are looking to buy something luxurious, something new, I highly recommend this face wash. And a face wash, the price tag for this face wash, it's like, why would you spend that much on a face wash? But for the Tatcha, the rice wash, this is an experience. This is, it just, how do I explain this? It smells so good. It has that normal tatcha -y, I don't know how to explain it. It has that typical Tatcha scent and it's hydrating and soft. It is exfoliating, but you don't feel the exfoliation. You can slightly, but it's not abrasive. There's so many good things about this face wash. It is an experience. I love using this, especially at night. It's just like, ah, this is my relaxation. Love this, highly recommend. I do have a backup of this. I have two bottles of this and I will continue to repurchase this because the experience of using this on your face is just out of this world. Then for Essence, I don't have a toner that I actually enjoy enough from Sephora to recommend. So I skipped toner, but for Essence, and mine's empty, I have the Laneige Cream Skin, and this one says Refiner because I purchased this one in Korea. But if you are purchasing from Sephora, they do have this as a toner and moisturizer, so it is considered an essence. And this just really hydrates my skin. It's that extra step that just adds a boost of moisture. Um, I feel like it's helped my fine lines, which I know sounds crazy, but if you moisturize enough, it will help with your fine lines. And I felt like it reduced the extreme fine lines around my mouth. So I loved this. It was so nice. And I am trying to find a dupe for the Tatcha Essence because that was my go-to, but spending $90 or 80 when it's on sale, I guess 81 
$81 when it's on sale for an essence that only lasts me six months is not something I need to use. Or if I'm if it's in the summertime and I really need that hydration morning and night. But this is a great alternative. I don't think it ha it's not the same consistency. I will say that. They do have a different consistency and this one feels a little more watery, but I think the added but the added whatever makes it that milky consistency really adds that hydration. So, so far I think this isn't a dupe, but it's a good alternative if you're looking for an essence that is still hydrating, that still does boost the hydration in your skin, but you're not looking to pay those touch of prices. So I will continue to purchase this. Again, there are some things I'll splurge on, but that $90 essence hurt every sale. I would buy it every sale and it was getting too much. And then for day serum, that's one of the things I don't have. It is the Dr. Jart Sycopare uh, Tiger Grass Serum. That helped reduce my redness, it helps keep me moisturized, it helps keep my skin from breaking out. That serum was like a magical serum in a bottle. And so that's another one of the things on my to purchase list when I'm in Korea, because it's cheaper in Korea, because it is just a phenomenal serum. So that is on my to purchase list. I don't have it currently. I usually do have it, but I went through my last backup back in, I think, November. So I now know that I need to purchase two while I'm uh, out of town. But that's a serum that I would just always recommend. Good day serum just to help hydrate and calm your redness, calm down your skin. Something about that serum just magically improves everything on my skin. Love it. Then for moisturizer, I really didn't want to like this moisturizer. I really didn't want to, but it's so nice. This is the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. I don't want to admit how many jars of this I have. This one is almost gone. I do have at least two backups. And that is because I never want to run out of this and I I think I, pur I purchased one in November and then they came out with a jumbo size in January, so I purchased that. It was a problem. So I have two backups because this is great. I love using it. Helps with that dry skin. Helps add that radiance underneath my foundation. Mm, so good. And it does. It has that. I know you're not supposed to put um, fragranced products on your face, but but I just love Tatcha's scent and this skin cream is so nice. Perfect. And then for makeup remover. Mine's in a box because I haven't opened it yet because it is in my backup drawer. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melty, Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is another product that I was trying to find a cheaper dupe for because I go through these like crazy. So I've been trying different cleansing oils. I purchased a lot while I was in Korea and I'm testing out those. So that's why this one's still in the box. But so far I have not found anything to take off my makeup like the Pharmacy Green Clean. It's just perfect. Oh, and it's made in Korea. Of course it is. So that's another thing. Made in Korea. I love Korean skincare. They're the best. But this is beautiful, takes off all your makeup, waterproof makeup, mascara, everything. Doesn't burn my eyes. So good. Then, last two products. We're almost there. For Night Serum, another pharmacy product. This is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. Mine's way down there. I don't think I have a backup of this, so I am going to try... It's Herbivore, the Prism Serum, so I do have that to try out soon. So I will not be repurchasing this right now, but probably in November. Somehow, I only, I really only need to buy these backups once a year, sometimes twice a year, but usually in the April sale, I have nothing to purchase because I've purchased all the backups I needed in November. So, this is fantastic. I think it works better than the... Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost Night Serum. I just, it helps resurface your skin, you know. 
helps exfoliate, helps me when I get those little bumps, so I will be using this tonight. It is powerful, so you are only supposed to use it two to three times. Where does it say? Somewhere on here it says only use it, oh, here we go. Use two to three times a week. And then you may build up to more frequent use. I think I use this about three to four times a week, not every night though. And I especially use it when my skin is freaking out like it is now. So I'll use it tonight, wait a day, use it again, see how it works. But usually it helps clear up my skin, helps clear up all my little bumps. I get texture occasionally. And this just really helps smooth everything out. So I love that. And then finally, my night cream. This is the Laneige Sleeping Care Water Sleeping Mask. And it is in the scent Lavender. I love that it's lavender. Oh, mine's in a new jar. Um, I love the lavender scent. It just helps you really relax at night and really get into that nighttime routine. So putting it on is an experience, and I love that. Um, it's really hydrating. I really like to have something extremely hydrating on my face, so a sleeping mask is always my go-to. And this one just does the trick. It doesn't feel thick. It sinks into the skin pretty quickly. Doesn't leave a residue on my pillow. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Okay. So, those are all my Sephora recommendations. I would love to hear what you guys are purchasing from the sale. Um, I will hopefully get up a video on what I'm purchasing. If not, then I'll post a Sephora haul of the few things I purchase. But it's not a lot, so I don't know if it's worth a video. But I'd love to know what other people are purchasing during the sale, what you're excited about. Um, are you one of those people who only buy certain things at Sephora and then only buy certain things at Ulta? Let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantas fantastic day. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one.